Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on load sharing between base load plant and peak load plant. In this video, we are going to find out for minimum overall cost load shared by the peak load plant. We are also going to calculate annual load factor. Now first, I will read what is the given question. A load duration curve of a system is a straight line. The maximum and minimum load being 100 megawatt and 20 megawatt respectively. The load is supplied by base load and peak load plants. The cost of both are given as for base load plant cost is rupees 200 per kilowatt year plus 5 paise per kilowatt hour. For peak load plant rupees 50 per kilowatt year plus 10 paise per kilowatt hour. For minimum overall cost determine the load shared by peak load plant and annual load factors for both stations. So this was the given question. Let us first understand what is the given data. Here load duration curve is given in the form of straight line and it varies in between maximum load 100 megawatt and minimum load 20 megawatt. Then the costs for the base load plant and peak load plant is also given. For base load plant we will use here the suffix 1. So C1 is equal to rupees 200 per kilowatt year plus 5 paise per kilowatt hour. And for peak load plant, we will use suffix 2. C2 is equal to rupees 50 per kilowatt year plus 10 paise per kilowatt hour. Now, if we observe, these costs are divided into two parts. First part indicates us the cost for the installed capacity. And the second part indicates the cost for the number of energy units generated. So, for installed capacity, cost is for the duration of one year and for this number of energy units generated is the cost for the duration of one hour. Now we will use here some notation. So for the installed capacity cost we will use the notation A and for the number of energy units generated we will use here the notation B. So how we can say that for the base load plant A1 because here suffix 1 is there install capacity cost A1 is equal to 200 and B1 is 5 paise. So 5 paise that means 100 paise is equal to 1 rupee. So we will write here this cost in rupee that is 0 0.05. Then for the peak load plant A2 is equal to 50 and B2 is 10 paise that is 0 0.1. Now we will move to draw the load duration curve. So as per the given data, it is in the form of straight line and varies from 100 megawatt to 20 megawatt. So we will draw one vertical line. We will start here from 0. So with some suitable scale, we will plot here this point is for 20 megawatt and this point is for 100 megawatt. And on the horizontal line, we will take here the duration in number of hours. Install capacity is for 1 year. So, how many number of hours in 1 year? That is 8760. Now, load duration curve varies in between this 100 to 20 megawatt. So, I will draw here one horizontal line passing through this 20 megawatt. And it's a magnitude equal to 8760 hour. So, here I will complete this. Now, we will draw the load duration curve. That is straight line. Now, for economic load sharing, we will draw one horizontal line. From, we will select one any particular load in megawatt and we will draw one horizontal line. So, what is happening when we draw one horizontal line? That is the area under this load duration curve is divided into two parts. And how we can define its a magnitude? So, first I will draw one horizontal line. So, we will say this suppose line is L. Then, for this L, how we can define its a magnitude? 
so this line is parallel to this due number of hours so we can say that it's a magnitude that is in hours and we have one formula to find out the magnitude for this line L. That is L is equal to A1 minus A2 divided by B2 minus B1. So A1 is 200 minus 50 divided by B2 0.1 minus 0 0.05. That is equal to 150 by 0 0.05 and which is equal to 3000 hours. Now we can easily show this 3000 hours. So if I draw here one vertical line passing through this point of intersection, then here this magnitude is nothing but 3000 hours. So I will show here. Now we will give here the notations. So notations is here I will give A then for this B, C then here is D, E and I will give here F, G and here this is the line passing from this capital E so I will give here there is a small E dash. For minimum overall cost what is the load shared by the base load plant and what is the load shared by the peak load plant? We will find out. So for that we will consider here the notation PB that is the peak load on base load plant and PP that is the peak load on peak load plant. So how to show this PB and PP in this load duration curve? Now from this point 0 up to this point D that is this is the line DE. This is the line that divides this total area under the load duration curve for the economic load sharing. So here from this point or base of this load duration curve up to this point E, this vertical line indicates the peak load on the base load plant and above that from this point D up to point A, this vertical line indicates the peak load on peak load plant. Now we have to find out the value of PB as well as PP. Now how we can define this PP? So if we observe this PP is equal to this total vertical line is equal to 100 megawatt. So this 100 minus up to this point there is PP. So 100 minus PP which is equal to PP. Now we will take the two triangles that is the triangle ABC and triangle ADE. So in these two triangles we will take the ratio. So we have to find out this PP and PP. So we will take the ratio for this vertical lines that is AB divided by AD. And we will take the ratio for this horizontal lines so BC divided by DE. Now this Horizontal line BC that is equal to 8760 hours. Then DE that is equal to 3000 hours. So we can easily put these values. Now what about AB? So this AB that is 100 minus 20. And what about AD? So AD is nothing but. Now we have, we have to define this AD is equal to this 100 minus PP. So from this diagram we will write this. 100 minus PB. So if we solve this then we will get PB is equal to 70.6 megawatt. And what about this PP? So PP is nothing but 100 minus PB. So 100 minus 70.6 that is 29.4 megawatt. So this is the answer of first question. That is for the minimum overall cost load shared by the base load plant. That is 70.6 megawatt and for the peak load plant it is 29.4 megawatt. We will move for the second question that is we will calculate the annual load factor. We will first take for the base load plant. So load factor that is the ratio of average load by peak load. So first we will calculate the average load for the base load plant. So what is the formula to calculate the average load that is the energy generated by the base load plant divided by time period. Now if we observe this diagram then here this line DE is getting divided into this total area into two parts. So this 
area below this line D that is nothing but the energy generated by the base load plant. So we have to find out what is the total area below this line D. That is if we observe here from this point F, D, E, C, G, F. So this total area that we have to calculate. Now if we observe this diagram, this total area is getting divided into three sections. So first section is nothing but this rectangle. So this rectangle I will give here the section 1. Then second section is for this triangle. So for this triangle I will give here the number 2. And then third section is again this rectangle that is B, C, G, F. So I will give here the number 3. So I will remove here this line then you can easily understand this. So this is the area 1, 2 and 3. So we have to, if we add this all 3 areas then we will get this total area and that is nothing but the energy generated by the base load plant and divided by time period. So here annual load factor that is the load factor for one year. So time period that is the number of hours in one year that we have to consider. Now we will first take this area for the rectangle. So what is this area? That is this base line multiplied by height. So this line is in the number of hours that is 3000 multiplied by height. So what is this total height of DB? So D to B is nothing but 70.6 minus 20 that is 50.6. Plus, so I will give here one bracket, plus area of this rectangle. So for this rectangle, half multiplied by base multiplied by height. So base is in number of hours, that is 8760 minus 3000. That is 5760 multiplied by height. So this height is nothing but 70.6 minus 20. That is again 50.6. So I will give here this bracket plus now third is for this rectangle so here this total length is 8760 multiplied by this height is 20 divided by time period that is 8760 average load is equal to 53.96 now we will calculate load factor that is average load by peak load now if we observe for this base load plant what is the peak load so that is nothing but PB and which is equal to 70.6. That is the peak load on the base load plant. So we will take here 53.96 divided by 70.6 and which is equal to 0 0.76. So this is the load factor for the base load plant. Now we will calculate load factor for the peak load plant. So first we will calculate average load. So average load that is the energy generated by the peak load plant divided by time period. Now if we observe what is the energy generated by the peak load plant. So I have shown this area with the help of red marker. That is this area of triangle ADE. And that is equal to energy generated by the peak load plant. So how to find out its area that is half multiplied by base multiplied by height. So half multiplied by base D that is 3000 and height is 29.4 divided by time period. So time period this is the annual load factor. So we will take here the total time period 8760 hours. So when we solve this we will get 5.03. So this is the average load. Now this average load here what is the unit so for this area unit is megawatt hours and in denominator here is hours so this hour hour is getting cancelled so 5.03 megawatt now load factor is the ratio of average load by peak load so average load that is 5.03 megawatt and peak load peak load is this that is the 29.4 megawatt. So this megawatt, megawatt is getting cancelled and answer is 0 0.70.